Hello, welcome back to another DIY by Unique Creations. Today, I'm gonna create wall scones out of these two trays I purchased from Dollar Tree, these charger trays here. So I've done some other things with the charger trays. If you're not familiar with my channel, you can um, go and look at my other videos. But today I'm gonna create some, charger, some scones with these charger trays. But what I'm gonna do first is, I actually want the whole tray to be blinged out with glitter. So I'm gonna use my Mod Podge and apply the Mod Podge all over. I want it all over the tray. So this time I'm gonna do the whole tray. I'll be doing the whole tray. And once I get all this in here, then what I'm gonna do is apply my glitter, some glitter. And the whole tray will be glitter. And then I have to let it dry for like probably four or five hours before I apply another application of Mod Podge on top of the glitter once I have applied that so it'll seal it in and everything will be dry. I also have this little shelves here that I purchased. Little pieces of wood but they're gonna I'm gonna create them as shelves for my candles to sit on. Once I um get started with the project you'll see where I'm going with this. So for now I'm gonna start with the Mod Podge. And so I just want Mod Podge all over the tray on the outside of the tray, which I never put on the outside. I, have, I haven't did any with them on the outside, so I'm gonna do this one. And so that's me, when I sprinkle, sprinkle the glitter, it's gonna be completely covered. And along with this, I'm gonna paint this metallic gold with the gold. So this will be painted. No, I'm not gonna do gold. I think I grabbed the wrong one. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make my tray silver. That's the color I'm gonna make my tray. I need to pick, I picked up the wrong color. I had that in mind, but I think I'm gonna do everything with the silver. So what I'm doing now is applying the Mod Podge. Just making sure the whole tray is covered with the Mod Podge. So I applied it. Try to edge a tad bit more up here at the top. So I'm gonna make sure that the glitter goes on. I'm gonna do two of the trays. I'm gonna do two of them. The same exact way. So I'm going to um, apply the glitter now.
I apologize for the background noise. You hear some, um, a school right behind my condo here. I think the kids are outside for recess or something. Turn it around soon. Like one end, I'm not going to put as much um, glue on because the shelf will be going, I'm going to um, attach the shelf to the bottom of one of the ends of the tray, which will probably be this end here. So I'm going to let this dry, sit it outside on the patio, let it dry for some hours. And I'll start on the other tray. Also, we'll be painting. We'll be painting this because this will definitely be my shelf that I will attach to the tray here. So I'm going to put this outside and let it dry, and I'll start on the other one. Okay, the tray have dried. Both of them dried. The other one is sitting out in the patio. And the little shelf have dried. Put a little glitter. Paint them a little silver. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use some E6000 permanent glue and put on the end here that I'm going to attach to this tray. Okay, so what do you need my attention? So, let me make sure it's not upside down. I'm going to apply some E6000 here. I'm also going to use the glue gun. This is the permanent glue. I'm also gonna put a little bit in the fine corners there of this tray, not the exact corners. But... And what's gonna happen is now I'm gonna put this tray I mean, I'm sorry, I'm saying the tray. I'm gonna put the little shelf on the tray and make sure. Apply a little pressure. So I'll make sure it's straight on here. Cause I'll be sitting a candle or so on here. This is the tray. And this is the little shelf that I, and this got, this definitely has to dry for about five or six hours. So put that permanent glue, that epoxy glue on there. So I'm going to let this sit outside along with the other one. I already added the tray to the other. I didn't want to make the video so long. So I already added the tray to the other one. I mean, I keep calling the tray. I apologize. The little shelf here that I made, I've already put it on the other one and it's sitting outside. So we're going to let this dry. Trays have dried, I bought them in. I've completed one. And I'll show you with the next one how I, uh, the second one, how I created this. So, it's my little shelf down here. Put a little bling around here. My little tea candle holders, teacup candle holders. And 
Make sure I put it in here right. I definitely don't want this to fall. Put it on there. This is actually what you see sitting on the little shelf here that I created. Put a little bling around the shelf. A little three row bling around the shelf. And a little brooch there. Have some of these little small brooches here. And butterfly. Purchased at Dollar Tree. And these little butterflies, I think they're cute. So I'm gonna create the other one so you guys can see how it was made. See how I finished it. I'm going to sit this over here. I think I got to sit right now. Yeah, make sure the leg is sitting right on there. So, here it is. Put my little shelf on there. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I have my glue gun here heating up. Gonna put bling wrap around the top of this. I'm gonna apply the bling green, bling wrap with my hot glue. Not quite ready. Still trying to heat up there. One small piece when we get started. This bling wrap is something I purchased from Amazon. Like a three roll. Three rolls in the pack. Had it for a while. I also had the single roll too. That they also sell. Apply some glue all the way around the glass here. And wrap this as I go around and make sure that it's going around straight. I don't want anything uneven. Okay, where the two pieces meet, I'm gonna apply my little brooch here. I don't know if I had this camera set up right or not. I'm gonna add some hot glue on the back of the brooch. Press down with a little bit of force. I'm gonna add some too on the thing. This is how it looks. And what I did was set it here on the shelf. But what I'm gonna do is run my bling around it. But if you decide to do this project here and you decide to add a little shelf on here, the put your bling on first. The reason mask wasn't put on first because I hadn't decided what exactly what I was gonna put around it, then I decided to do the bling, so that's why it's going on. But you you will want to put that on before you um 
actually put your glue your tray on. So I'm going to add a little glue here and get it started. Because believe me, it's going to be much easier. and bling to the shelving you the little shelf that I made now and bring it around. Cut one little one row off here. And kind of turn it around here. And apply the glue on the next side here. I said, make sure you put your, um, you're going to put any bling wrap or anything around, put it on before you glue the tray, before you glue the little shelving unit here to the tray, I mean, sorry. But I hadn't decided to do that until afterwards, so that's why mine is going on last. So now... It has the bling around it. And this is the shelf, shelf that I painted and put a little glitter on. So the next thing I'll be doing setting the tea candle holder. And what I did had this, I can't I laid it down because I wanted to see where I was gonna put the butterfly at on here. And so kind of didn't want the butterfly directly at the top, kind of wanted this right in here somewhere. So just wanted to make sure the tea cup, tea candle holder, a little glass holder here, will be kind of centered there. So the idea is to add some glue to the back of it. So I definitely don't want it uneven. A little pressure so I definitely want it centered. I'm gonna make sure it's down on the shelf. Now 
This thing I'm gonna add, I'm gonna let it has to dry. I'm gonna add the butterfly. You can put it on any way you want your butterfly. You can have it like it's flying off if you like. But I think I'm just going to center this one just like I did that one. And a little hot glue on the back of it. So this has to dry, I'm gonna let this dry. That's why I did the other one before, so the video won't be so long. That's why I did the other one first, so it could dry. But I did wanna show you guys how I created this, how I came up with this. So I'm actually gonna let this sit down flat so it can continue to dry. And Oh, another thing I'm going to do also, have my little incandescent candles here. So what do you guys think so far? This is another creation with the charger trays by Unique Creation. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about it. I think it turned out really nice. Mosh pies, the trays, put glitter in it, let them dry overnight. The little shelves I bought, they per you can purchase them at Dollar Tree for a dollar. Painted it silver, put a little glitter on it, glued it to the tray there. Um, like I said, if you're going to put some bling wrap or anything around, do it before you glue it to the tray. But it's still, I still, it wasn't too, too bad getting it on there, but I got it on. You can put any candle holder, anything, a candle of your choice. I chose this and I uh, put my little bling wrap around it. And I had some little brooches and I put that on there. Butterflies came from Dollar Tree. And this is the finished look. Basically everything came from let me see everything came from Dollar Tree except for the brooches and this bling wrap here. This bling wrap here, yeah, definitely came from Dollar Tree. Um and this is what this is. It's the three roll. Comment below, let me know what you think of it. I think it came out nice. Thank you guys for supporting. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, share. Also like. Thank, to, thank you to you all once again for supporting me. And remember God first, have a wonderful evening. Another unique creation using charger trays from Dollar Tree. I created wall sconces. They're actually sitting on the easels right now, but I will be hanging them on my wall. This is the finished look. Tea light candles, tea light candle holders, the indecent um, lights. Why they're changing colors. Okay, now the sun wants to come in. Leave me a comment. Let me know how you guys like it. It's just another creation from Unique Creations.
Have a wonderful evening.